Hello, I'm here with the Node Red Contrib Flex Radio to take a look at how we configure radios in the radio configuration node. This video is relevant to the up and coming version 1.2, which will have a new dynamic radio configuration in addition to the existing automatic, discovery, and manual. So let's hop into Node Red and let's take a look at how we configure radios. First off, Let's scroll down. I've already got Node Red installed and up and running, and I'm just going to drop a request node onto the palette here. Now you'll notice this request node is not configured. It's got the little red triangle there. So we need to go ahead and configure that before we can use it. I don't have a radio configured, so we click the pencil icon to choose the radio that we're going to use. I'm not going to name it anything, but we have our choices here under radio for how we want to configure it. We have automatic, discovery, dynamic, and manual. Automatic is perhaps the easiest if you have a single flex radio on your network. It will automatically just go out and listen for the discovery packets that the radio sends on the network and try to configure based on those. If you've got multiple radios on your network, then automatic will just choose the first one that it finds. So let's go ahead and use automatic because I've got only one radio. So I choose automatic and when I hit deploy, you'll notice that it automatically connected to my radio. My radio is a flex 6600M. This isn't very useful by itself, so let's drop ourselves an inject node and a debug node so that we can send a request to the radio and see what those results are. So I'm just gonna send a simple meter list command to the radio. So I configure my payload to be meter list, and I go ahead and I deploy. I'm gonna switch over here to the debug palette so that I can see what the debug messages are coming out. And when I hit meter list, you'll notice that I get a parsed listing of the meters that my radio has. Now, my radio is turned on, but it's not connected, and I don't have any stations operating on it, so I have very few meters at the current time. So let's go and take a look at the other ways that we can configure our radio. Oh, I should mention that when you do configure your radio, you'll notice over here in configuration nodes that you'll see the radio that you configured. If you end up with more than one Flex Radio radio configured, that means that you're gonna have multiple connections to your radio. If you have a single radio, you should only have one of these Flex Radio radio configuration nodes. The one here indicates how many other nodes are connected to it, not how many instances you have. If you have multiple radios, then you should potentially have one of these for each radio. So let's go into our request. Let's click through to here, and let's instead pick Discovery. When I choose Discovery, you'll notice that I get a listing of all the radios that are discovered on my network. Again, I only have a single radio, a Flex 6600M, so I'll go ahead and choose that. And then when I say update, done, and deploy, you'll notice that my radio gets connected again. I can go ahead and send another meter list command so that you can see that it's connected and I get this meter listing. So this is useful, discovery is useful if you've got multiple radios on your network. It will show you the IP address, but it will remember the nickname that has been given to that radio. So if you change the nickname of your radio in your radio's configuration, this node won't connect to it properly anymore. You'll have to go and reset it. The other option that I want to go into right now is the manual configuration. Manual lets us specify an IP address or a DNS host name and the port number. In general, you're not going to want to change the port number. Flex uses port 4992 where it listens for connections. I happen to know that my radio is at address 192.168.10.27. So I'm just going to put in the IP address. I'm going to click Update, Done, and Deploy. And you'll notice now it shows that my radio is connected and it shows the IP address. If I go ahead and I send that meter list, you'll see that I've got the meter listing for my radio, just as I had before. So these meters, again, are just a subset. So now let's get to some of the newer features that we have. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import a flow that I already have. So I'm going to take and I'm going to import a flow because this one's a little bit more complex to walk through. So I'm going to import a new node here and I'm going to go over to configuration nodes and you can see that I've brought in this new dynamic radio configuration node. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this flow that we've been using and deploy. And I'm also going to delete this node that we've, this configuration node that we used before and hit deploy. So now I'm back to a single node, single configuration node, and you'll notice it has two connections to it. That's the messages node here and the request node here. 
So, and I've got the three different types of configurations. So I've chosen dynamic here for my configuration. And this means that I can send messages into a request node that will configure this underlying flex radio node. And the way that I configure it is, again, one of those three options. I can either configure it for automatic discovery, dynamic discovery, or nickname discovery, and then manual. So if I go cancel and cancel, these are the messages that I'm allowed to send to the request node. First off is I need to specify a message action. The action is what tells the radio to connect or disconnect. So this is different than the message payload. When I specify a message action of connect, the request node is going to look for a message.radio configuration object. And that configuration object should have in it a host mode. That host mode corresponds to automatic nickname or discovery in manual. In this case here, I'm using automatic discovery again. So this automatic discovery will simply go out onto my network, listen for the first available radio and connect to it. You'll also notice right here that the radio node is currently disconnected. So when we look at that, you see this disconnected here. So if I go ahead and I click deploy, I switch over to my debug. Let's clear those out. Now I've got this down here. This is going to pass the connection messages out to the debug screen. So I'll see those over here. When I click automatic, magically the radio connects. And you'll see over here in the debug, a connection slash TCP message that that radio is connected. So I could start to send my meter list commands and those types of things to the radio. What I can also do, however, is I can send a disconnect message. Now this disconnect is the same as before. Message action is set to disconnect instead of connect. So if I send disconnect, the radio becomes disconnected. And over here, we can see the disconnected status. Now, if you were to look in Wireshark, you'll actually see that the TCP connection is terminated. The other options that we get here, other than automatic, are by nickname or by manual. So when we configure by nickname, we need to send the message message action as connect again, same as we did with automatic. But message radio now contains a couple of different things. In addition to the host mode of nickname or discovery, we also need to specify the nickname of the radio that we want to connect to. So in my case, as you saw before, the nickname was Flex6600M. So if I use this connection method, <clears throat> you'll see that my radio goes out and it connects. And I can click disconnect and the radio is disconnected. So no future connections there. Now the last option you have is manual. Manual again, message.action is set as connect. Message.radio, however, has to have the host mode of manual as well as the host and port number. Again, keep the port number at 4,992. And my host is Flex6600M. Actually, this should be my 192.168.10.27 which is my IP address, so we can use either. I'm going to go ahead and click Done. I'm going to click Deploy. I'll clear out my debug window, and I'll hit Manual. And you can see here that I've got a connection. Now, if I try to connect when I'm already connected, nothing will happen. You'll notice I don't get any additional connect messages because the connection has already been made. You'll have to disconnect before that. So you'll notice here I click Disconnect, and we were disconnected. Of course, manual will trigger that regardless. So if we clear, we disconnect, we hit manual connection, we can click any of these and we won't reconnect until we click disconnect. So that's a short overview of the new connection methods that are in the Node-RED Contrib Flex Radio nodes. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll try to keep my videos short and maybe a little bit more frequent. The dynamic connection is only available in the version 1.2, which is right now just in beta release. That will be in the regular release relatively soon after we iron out some of the kinks. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you guys maybe at the Dayton Hamvention.